Now let's look for the inverse of these exponential functions. And we're going to start switching x and y. Here we have x equals 4 to the power of y. But I want to isolate y. That's what I want to do when I'm looking for the inverse. And how can I do that? I could just straight out switch this into log form. The base is the base for the log. The x stays here, and that's just y. And we're basically done. y equals log base 4 of x. But I would also like to do it in a slightly different way. So back here, x equals 4 to the y. Does that make sense to everyone? I hope so. Switching from exponential form to log form is really important. And of course, you can find the explanation on our website down here. Now back to the question, x equals 4 to the power of y. I can log both sides of the equation. And now since I have the y here, I can bring it down. So log x equals y log 4. Then I can just basically divide both sides by log 4. So those cancel out, and y is just equal to log x over log 4, which is equivalent to log x base 4. And that is another log rule, the change of base rule that we also explain on our website over here. Great, now let's continue with question number two. And let's switch y and x. So x equals 3 to the power of y plus 2. Okay, now I'm just going to take the 2 over to the left hand side of the equation by subtracting 2 from both sides. So you get x minus 2 equals 3 to the power of y. Now I will do the same thing I did over here. I will log both sides of the equation. And now I can bring the exponent down because of our constant log rule. Because the constant becomes exponent. Now I can divide both sides by log 3. So let me draw more of a line here so that I don't confuse the two questions. There we go. And I have isolated y. y is just log x minus 2 all over log 3. And again, once we're dividing logs, we can just make this the base. So log base 3 of x minus 2. If you do not understand any of the rules that I applied here, I strongly suggest you visit our website and check them out. Otherwise, you can just continue working on our inverse exponent questions. Good luck.